create basic water features in Unreal Engine and add realism to your environments. This video is part of our Unreal Engine full course. Subscribe and check the playlist for more tutorials. In this lesson, I will discuss a simple solution for adding water to our scene. There are more advanced ways of adding water, from complicated materials to plugins that you can add to your engine to make the water. In my case, I will use some of Unreal Engine's free capabilities to create a body of water quickly. Let's begin. Let's save another version of our level since we will move to another step in our project. At the same time, we are done with the blocking, so I will delete my blocking level from the Windows level since I don't need it anymore here. As I said, there are many ways to make water inside Unreal Engine. However, the easiest way is to use one of the native plugins we can activate inside the engine. So, go to the settings and plugins and search for water. Activate these two plugins and restart the program. Let's return to the level we were working on. In quickly add to the project browser, I type water. Now, we have access to different bodies of water from a lake to an ocean, which is similar. So if you understand the principle for one, you can apply it to others. In our training, I will make a lake. Like any other actor, you can just come here, drag and drop it into the scene. Building the shaders to show the water will take a little time, but it will bring a lake to your scene. To see what's going on here, I'm going to come back all the way here and I'm going to move it over here to explain all of the options. I will move it to the side to explain the options available for this water. First, if you bring it up or down, it will change the water surface's location. If I go to my outliner and collapse everything, you will see I have three more assets that make this water possible right now. I'm going to put them in a layer and call it lake. Right now, the water body lake is the only actor you need to work on. If you go to its details, you see there are so many options here that it can be exhausting to review all of them. So let's discuss the most important one. If you adjust the depth of wave attenuation, you will change the appearance of the water by altering the way waves appear in it. I increased it to get a calmer lake look. Also, if I hit the spline here, I can change these points. For example, I can move, rotate and scale them to make them sharper. If I hold Alt and drag, I can create another point to shape the water. Back to the water component. The curve setting is the most important. Here, you can change the depth of the channel and make it deeper. You can also change the ramp to that depth. Additionally, you have control over the fall off mode in the fall off setting, so you can control edge of your body of water. These few items I checked are essential for creating any sort of water. The last important part is the material. When you go to rendering, you can find the water material. When you open it, you will see many options in detail. The most important one here is under global vector parameter values. You have absorption and scattering, which will change the color of the water. You have to play with it to get the color you want, but it is limited. However, it is the fastest way to have water in your scene. I will move the material window to the side so we can see the effects of our modification in real time. If I adjust the color absorption, the overall color of the water will change. Changing the scattering will affect how transparent the water appears or how much the color effect is visible. Experiment with it and I'm sure you will discover something interesting. Let's get back to building our project. Since we've made some changes to our water, let's delete it and add it again to our scene. I'm going to come here and put a water lake. We can immediately see it. I will bring it down, go to the details and go to the spline. By moving the spline around, you see that the water will adapt to the shape of the landscape and at the same time have some effect on our landscape. You may have noticed that some of our landscape is submerged underwater. In such cases, using landscape tools to fix the landscape is ineffective. Instead, we will use alternative methods in later lessons. For now, try to approximate the shape of the body of water you are looking for. I will increase the attenuation 
and bring the lake floor up in the terrain curve setting, as I don't want to make it too deep. Lastly, when I select water, if I collapse all categories under rendering, I can find these settings to change the color. I'm happy with what I made. Let's save everything and proceed to the next lesson, where I will explain 3D kitbashing to complete our landscape.